Hello, what is up YouTube? It's me, Nitrick, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make corresponding system in your game, in your Roblox game. So first, you want to go to the top and press view. Make sure your toolbox is open. Mine is over here. Just press toolbox and it'll, be, it'll pop up on your screen. And then you, you need your explorer and properties to be open. Mine is over here on the side. And um, yeah, so first, you want to go to, so first, first you need, you need to add a folder in server storage. Then rename that folder to cars. If you re if you name this to cars one, cars two, or anything else, it won't work because it's only reading by scripts. And um, for scripts, I will add them on the bottom of this YouTube video, but in the description below. Um, so yeah, and I will pause for a while for you guys if you do want to um, pause on the YouTube video and uh, like if you wanna no. Uh, do it that way it's on you but for now I'll do cars right cars and then keep that in uh, minimize that then you want to open a script in server scripts and rename that script to uh, cars spawner just like that then you want to delete whatever is inside the script and you want to add the script on the bottom of this video I'll keep that for a while. And then you wanna off this, and then then you wanna go over to Explorer and just minimize that. Add it in replicated storage. Add two remotes, so two remotes, remote events. Then rename the first one to delete car, and the next one rename this one to spawn car just like that then minimize this and once you have replicated storage done server scripts done and server storage done you want to have a screen gui and add a frame and add an image button you can place the image button wherever you want i'm going to place it over here and the frame i'm just going to scale this like this and put this up in the middle you don't need a close uh, anything. You don't need a close uh, close button or anything because it'll be automatically done with the with the image button. So first, you want to go to frame. Um, a lot of you guys want to use a scrolling frame. You can use a scrolling frame, but you have to rename the uh, scrolling frame into frame. And yeah, and after that, you can scale it and do whatever you want. But it's the same thing as the normal frame. Uh, you're just renaming the scrolling frame into frame. So then, uh, for now. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use the frame, not the scrolling frame. So yeah, so first you're gonna add an image button in the frame, like this. You can add more uh, if you want, like more of them around the thing, uh, the frame. But for now, I'm gonna work with one. Then after the image button is done, you want to go to toolbox, and you want to go to vehicles, and only vehicles because. I advise uh, to use vehicles only because I don't think it'll work with boats, planes, or whatever is on this um, model list. So go to vehicles, cars, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna use this Jesco for this tutorial. So put the Jesco, and uh, to remove this for now, you don't need to delete it. Go to Explorer, press Frame, and then go to Properties. Scroll down to Visible. Make sure that's false, and then want to go up here and press select so you're going to be using your mouse again it doesn't matter where you keep them car for now for this for now I'm going to keep it over here then um, you don't need to rename the model if you want I'm going to rename the model rename it but the model does not matter as long as it's the same as the one in the image button so I'll tell you that later so first after that's named you want to move uh, the car model to server storage and cars so move that to cars. Once that's there, it does not matter anymore. You just need to rename this. Control C. And then go to the image button in the frame. So we want to open the frame back. So go to properties. Go to visible true. And the image button must be named to the exact same as the um, uh, car in in the server storage. Uh, in, the, in the folder. So the model. Yeah, exactly and vice versa so then you want to rename this to this 
just go just go same exact name if it's the different name it's not gonna work it must be the same exact name okay then that's done you can change you can go to properties and change the image for now I'm just gonna keep this image um, uh, so then just close the screen UI for now um, we're done everything else we just need a script so we, we finished the scripting for the correspondent and server scripts now we're going to script in screen GUI, GUI first you want to add um, a local script in um, the image button which is the car name and remove whatever is inside and then you want to uh, rename this script local script to we'll name it to call script like that then go over here and on this bottom of this video I want you to copy the second code and place it over here I'm gonna keep that for a while so you can if you want you can copy that down it's already on the bottom of the screen so on, on the description so yeah and then after that's done go on to office and make sure you click it back on select it back on then you want to go back to Explorer and just close this, minimize it, and then image button, rename this image button to spawn car. Spawn car. Spawn that. Spawn car. Like just like that. And just duplicate that and rename this to delete car. Okay. Um you don't need delete car, just in the replicated storage you don't need it. But if you wanna add it um add it so yeah it's just useful so keep the delete car over here spawn car and delete car and then you want to go over here and then put a local script in spawn car and same local script in delete car like that so both must have local scripts we're, we're gonna work with um spawn car local script so go to spawn car press local scripts and rename this Spawn car local script to rename this local script to um, this local script. Actually, just keep it as local script. For delete car, rename the delete car to delete script. Delete delete script. Just like that, right? And then we're working with car the the spawn car. We're working with spawn car local script. So just to get you guys. Not confused, go back to Explorer and go to Spawn Car and press local script. Then you want to go to the bottom of the description and um, copy the other code, which is this one. And I keep that on the screen for a while. After that's done, off that, and go back to Explorer, minimize this, and then go to delete car, delete script local script, delete whatever is inside local that local script and go to the other uh, code which is under the description below and then copy it and this is how it should look like we'll keep that for a while then after that you wanna off this one and then you wanna go to explore and then after that's done minimize that and then um, we're almost done. We just need. Let me see over here. Yeah, I think this is it. So after that's done, you can minimize everything. It doesn't matter. You can like, keep it open. It doesn't matter. Um. Yeah. So then later, you go over here, and then, well, of course, you must always keep the vi after you finish with the frame, always turn it back to visible. To to, to, to false. Um, if I'm saying it wrong, false, true, and stuff, please um, correct me in um, the bottom of the on the video, YouTube video. Um, but yeah, thank you. So then you want to press play on top over here, home, and then play. Once you're in, I am a bacon because um, I do have other accounts, but I just made this new account just for this YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so, 
first you want to go to so the spawn spawn button uh, you can change the image button for now I don't have a uh, image so change it you can oh, this opens the frame and it opens it so this closes and opens the frame automatically as you can see then um, you press the image button and it will spawn your car in just like that get in your, you can get in your car and drive it for yeah so that's how you do it so that's how you do it yeah and then if you want to remove the car you can press delete car which will just do this and the car will be gone just spawn it back like this and then delete car and make sure like like make sure make sure when you like go back make sure you're for this for delete car it also must be visible to false so we'll go back go to properties and then go false because automatically when you press play the button will be there to spawn the car the car will be there and automatically the delete car button will come appear when your car is spawned you can add more cards and make sure it's the name uh, same model name as your image button and uh, don't change it don't change anything else um, don't oh I guess it's just gonna drive away um, this is a glitch but that does not happen all the time yeah I don't know uh, so you can just delete car and it'll be gone yeah so you can add more cars and do the same thing Explorer I'm gonna do with uh, an extra car just to give you another idea like that but you must have it Explorer frame properties what is about the true visible diamonds and then for this model you don't need to do the same thing you can rename this to a different car I'm just gonna go over here and put this car over there doesn't matter what car all right and then you want to name this car let's put let's rename this car to Nissan for now and then you want to rename this car and call control C and then put this in server storage in the cars folder and minimize that and then you want to rename this this image button to uh, Nissan and then uh, make the vis visible to false and now just play let's play and then now if I go here I can also spawn Nissan and then the delete car button does appear on my screen I just delete the car and it'll be gone so guys thank you for watching this video hopefully you guys loved it um, please I consider subscribing and um, um, I will see you next time bye bye